So we must be gentle. We must be humbled. We must be patient. I have seen leaders who are under leaders. Eh? Leaders under leaders who exercise authority that their leaders above them don't exercise. Can I say that again? I have seen leaders who are, who are under leaders, meaning you are not a senior leader, you are a junior leader or a middle leader, but you exercise the power of a senior leader. You are the, the back stops with you. You think, man, can't you use leader? You're not sorry. 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 You're not You're You're not You're not sorry. 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 you are you what do you mean you thank me for what happened? These cars were no, it's your leadership. It's not me. But no, Mtagona who was here, he exercised power. And and leaders under under senior leaders have a, have a tendency of uh, of showing you power. I'll show you I've got power. That's why if you mess up. In, in my country, we know you must never mess up with a female traffic office. Never mess up with a female traffic officer. She will show you something. She will show you, you see, you are doing this because I'm female. I am going to show you I've got power. I've got the same power a male has. It's worse if you're a male. And she stops you. And then you think you're going to, you know how males are, think you're going to use your your charm and your what what to say Amma Aokure Regana Rabulela Moskure License Ama Wira Kalanga Kiri Anunse Re Kurumunati Fela Kura Regana Rabu License Re License Machin Cham Why? Because they realize oh you are going to try and uh, play nice nice and what have you because they are women you don't you don't mess around at a traffic cop who's a woman because she will show you where to get off she will write and she will become wicked they can become wicked if they want to be understand because you think i'm not a man so i don't know how to <laughs> i'll show you so leaders must learn how to be gentle are, are we together folks yeah, leaders must, learn. even when you are rebuking, rebuke with gentleness. Because people are already aware of your aura. Yeah, people are already aware. Maybe you don't know what you carry. You know, sometimes as leaders, we don't know the influence we have. Now, I once saw a miracle, an amazing thing. Uh, it was amazing. Some, some of our, 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 you know, there's two of our members who, you know, got very... Uh, who lost members of their family that were also members of our church that were very close to them. You know, one lost a husband, the other one lost a child. You know, both of them, they were okay all this time when everybody's here. When I came, your drama started from the beginning. And I asked myself, I must not visit people when they're bereaved because I, can, I, I make them worse. When I came, Hey! The, cry, the, the, the sobbing started from the beginning. <gasps> I said, ha! This is serious. What did I do? And my wife said to me, no, 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 no. You have an effect on people. You are a leader. When they, they didn't expect you. Our church is quite a size like this. So they didn't expect a senior pastor to show up. I've been calling, I've been whatever, and you know, I've been trying to, I've been supporting as much as possible. But when I realized, you know what, let me go. Hey! There were other people then, eh? there were other people, other important people who were, you know, who were also sending their condolences. I remember this one particular lady, everybody was doing their condolences. I came in, she saw me. She firstly looked at me, like with unbelieving eyes, like, you are also here. 
And then she started from the beginning. All the tears of the first day till that day. And I said to my wife, I, I don't want to go see people because they cry. My wife said to me, no, 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 no. no. It's catharsis. It, it's, it's, it's catharsis. It's important because you carry the weight. Hello? Yeah, when you're a leader, you carry weight. So when you, when you show, that's why when you don't, at, that's why I've stopped trying to keep up with attending people's things because the one you don't attend. Yes, yes. You don't attend SMS. You don't attend SMS. You don't attend SMS. You don't attend how am I going to go to all thousand people all at the same time? Where? When am I going to finish? I'm going to die before my time. Because this one has a birthday party. That one has a birthday party. That one has a kitchen party. That one has a, you know, 21st birthday. That one has a kitchen party. There are other pastors, please. That's why we have other, that's why we've got, that's why, we've got, that's why leadership must be delegated. And the problem is that delegated leaders must also understand that they are using delegated authority. Shamakataya. Delegated leaders are using delegated authority. Do not abuse your authority, please. And be an Absalom. What I'll shine on my ticket. <clears throat> Was that a sensitive uh, subject? No, I'm going there. That's where I'm going. That's exactly what I'm saying. Do not use my authority. And you become the main guy there. When you come there, you say, I am sent. Honor. Oh, no. uh, uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. What are you saying? You are saying, I'm here. That's what you are saying. That's how it sounds. Do you know, do you hear what I'm saying, folks? I sent you there. I said, please, uh, rest mama. I'm busy. I'm open up. Please, can you go there quickly on my behalf? Set, be there. Make sure everybody's happy there. When you get there, you salute my presence. You say, folks, I have not come here on my own accord. I am here sent by Muruti. So when you see me, please, you are seeing Muruti. Muruti says, please be strong, be comforted. Huh? Yeah, you must try that in government and see how far you'll go. The president sends you or the mayor sends you on his behalf to read his speech. You get there, he say, the mayor is busy. Uh, so I'm here to say to you people, we love you. Uh, the municipality is aware of your crisis. On, on the mayor's ticket. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now we understand it in politics. We don't understand it in church. Because I sent you there as a leader. If you are, you are in our church, we are divided in zones. If you are, a, and we have got zonal leaders or zonal pastors, whatever you call them. If you are in the zone and I'm sending you, to, you are acting on my behalf. And you must make people aware that you are sent. You must not get there and shine, outshine me. Not that I'm insecure, but you are creating a culture that's going to destroy us. You are becoming an Absalom. No, 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 no. David is very busy. Ananako, medigating. Absalom, Absalom. Na medigating asunabatu. Ata dilo se sa yutu yungoro. You are doing further. You hug everybody as they come because mrudurudi ha hagibatu. Ananako ha hagana lewatu. So when I'm a hug, I'm your new leader. You see, I hug you. Come in, I, I'm hugging you. Hug everybody. Guru, you are doing the you are exaggerator. You are going beyond your call of duty. What's going on? This is a delegated authority. Whether you are in youth, whether you are a women's leader, whether you are whatever, if you are sent by your by Mamru Duakereke, being a women's leader, you don't get the Mamru Dananak. So Kimona Hen Naketoli Tusa. How? How is that possible? Here by authority, delegated authority. Like, like you come to a delegation. So our leader, middle leaders must understand. You are there by delegated authority. That's why you give honor where honor is due. 
if you are sent by the president, if this was the president, if was, you don't understand protocols. You see, the problem is that in the church, we don't understand protocols. We understand protocols in the world. In the church, we don't understand protocols. You know, I'm with them. I'm praying for them. Uh, you know, or represent me in a certain 21st birthday. You know, you're going on my behalf. How do you Like our room. I can remember you. And that function, key function, you have to How do you come Or I stand on behalf of my pastor. Yes. So that people may feel that Murutwa Rona Wararatwa Tsaurumelabatu. Yes. That's how you cover your leader. That's also how you cover your leader. As a leader. What are the leaders? That's how you cover your leader. You don't get there and say, yeah, no, Murutia Abanal Nako, so I thought I must come. You are exposing your leader. You are exposing your leader. Hello. Are we here? Oh, yes. So you must understand that. You must be gentle, you must be patient, you must forbear. I always ask myself a question. You must reflect the heart and the spirit of your senior leader, please. Don't have another heart. Is this, are you sure you are from the same church where your leader is from? Because when you've got a different heart, you've got a different mindset, you are doing things radically more. Look, we are all innovative and all we are different in personality, but there must be something that says we come from the same stable. There must be a DNA, and DNA that connects us, please. The language must connect us. The thinking must connect. Something must connect you. There must be some sense that says, You, don't, you must not sound like strangers. And I'm talking about representation to people, to local churches, and representation outside. Members must sit here and say, hey, ah, he doesn't sound like our father. They won't tell you, but they can hear you. Ah, he doesn't sound like our father and our mother. Mm. He doesn't sound like our father and our mother. Yeah, he sounds different. He sounds like another man. Leaders must understand that this is delegated authority. Everybody say delegated authority. We must understand delegated authority. Power has been given to you in a measure. You don't have full power. Get delegated in a measure. Represent well. Do it well. That's why in companies, in secular company, it's a contract. It's a conflict of interest. Those of you who work what is conflict of interest? If you are doing the same thing privately that you are doing at work. Hello? It's called conflict of interest. So come and say, how le mo kereke? And you are a leader. And luena unali, let's say, u leader tapelo kereke, you are an intercessor. Ya kereke. Marunali intercessory ministry. Katuk, a private intercessory. You are, a, you are an intercessor, yeah. But you've got an intercessory ministry on the side. Nali side plate. And you don't disclose. Hello? What is that thing called? It's a conflict of interest. We don't, we are not, we are not, we are not, we are not, intercession are not, we are not, we are thankful to God that you have discovered your, 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 your anointing and your passion. But if you don't disclose that are di prayer points are how and how recognize you don't give reference you don't say these are the prayer points as i received them from my church or i've discovered new prayer points for you prayer point number one pray by fire that the god of power will come down by thunder by fire so you must understand that Lack of referencing. Utswa materials about it's called plagiarism in other circles. Lack of reference. If you are making a quote and it's not yours, and you know it's not yours, please recognize. Delegated authority. Hello? Others give plagiarism. Recognize or no. This quote I'm going to quote. This is Miles Monroe. <laughs> this quote I'm going to quote. This is John Maxwell. But people read and they, they Google. <clears throat> They do what? But how Google and so do a more. Or you can have a revelation by Google. Hey, 
The whole thing, you know, it's all John Maxwell. Unsere the four points God gave me. Un, I, I spiritualized. Eri Maxwell gave me, and I saw the points. And now I am going to share with you the four points of Maxwell. Delegated authority, recognizing other leaders, honor, giving honor where honor is due. Kibulen to zengat. La kibulen to zengat ezeki buwa. Kito akau fell. So catch them all. Very important. I wanted to speak that thing of honor because it was very important. It was laid in my heart very strongly. Uh, 1 Peter 5 verse 1 to 5 in the next 15 minutes. This is a very this is a, this is a critical 15 minutes of your time, please. 1 Peter 5 verse 1 to 5. To, el to the elders among you, I appeal as a, as a fellow elder and a witness of Christ's suffering who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care. Watching over them, not because you must, as a belief, not because you must, but because you are willing, you are what? There must be willingness in leadership. There must be what? Hey. Yeah, no. The moment it's a burden, you should know something is wrong. My burden is easy. My yoke is light. My burden is easy. The moment you feel the work, ask for leave. We think it's only for the pastor. No, it's for all leaders. When you feel, I am now feeling it. Good, now I'm snapping. And you, know, and you, must, you must descend, descend. Oh, Lord, hey, my level of patience has run out. Uh, my level of gentleness in this department has run out. What it means that it could be that you are burnt out. Quickly talk to your pastor or your senior leader, or whoever is above you and say, hey, uh, I'm, sna I'm, sn I'm snapping at people. I can feel it. I'm very yeah, quick, and my I feel like my temper is. I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm, not, I'm exhausted. Chances are you are exhausted. All you need is just a quick break. Take leave from your responsibility for a season. Talk to the pastor. Talk to your leader. Baruti can take leave. the elders, absolutely elder can leave, and they need it. Because you're working with people equally. Deacons need leave. Yeah, you need some time off from being a chief usher. All that responsibility on Sunday, every morning. So and then you start snapping at people and you start being rude and you start, and you realize, hey, ki, 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 fell like gentleness. Why? You are tired. You may find that there's pressure at work, there's pressure at church, there's pressure in the family, and now you get here, it's not a delight. You get your, uh, you know, you, you are like Moses. Who to appoint at the, the rock? Yes, yes. You are tired. You are sick of it. You know, you've been running the whole week of conference. You are the one singing. You know, our worship team gets tired. Yeah, worship members get tired. They get exhausted. And they get flat. And they need to change. And I told them all the time, rotate. Team number one, team two, sit down. You have to rotate. Otherwise, if you're all there, you're going to get seven days. You're going to get tired. And by the seventh day, let anointing rise. You're tired. You're exhausted. And it's not because you don't want to sing, but because physically, it has just taken too much on you. What I don't agree with is a, a uh, what is this? A permanent rest. I see three days, I see four days. I just feel it's time to sit down. Oh, I can't, that one, I don't entertain that one. Time to sit down. Who told you it's time to sit down? No, I can just feel I'm tired. No, tired, no problem. Tired, one Sunday off, no problem. Next, next Sunday off, oh, you're just sitting down, not doing anything, just receiving the word and feeling good, no problem. And maybe one Sunday in a week, maybe let's take two Sundays off, uh, but you are here. Off your house. I get it. The Bible says times of refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord. So you are in the presence. Not in your duties, but in the presence. Because this tired off, I'm away. I'm tired and I'm, I'm, and I'm away and I, I'm gone. It's not a good tired. Because you may be isolated by the enemy and targeted. And before you know, you've got the devil shows you. You see, they don't love you. Yeah, You remember Mamruti never greeted you. Oh, no, Amy Mona, Abajika, hi, Abajika, 
then you remember funny things, things that are not there. You start creating the I was there. I was standing with this sister. And she came to this sister and she, she started with me saying, Hi, how are you? And then this one was Lekai. And that was hi. Now leaders can do that, but it's not intentional. Maybe she was not even in her. She didn't even see that. But because we're not only in security somehow anyway. Attention, sir. How anyway you are, you see your leader, even things that your leader was not aware, especially as pastors. I don't know how you guys know you take your part, but pastors can be when you when it's a Sunday morning, your mind is not, uh, yeah, you're, you're not a people's person. I don't know your pastor, me. When it's my Sunday morning, I don't greet too much. Not that I'm not happy, I don't want disturbance. In fact, I, I. I function away from my family. I wake up early in the morning. Away from the kids, away from the wife. I do my things quickly and then I say, eh, I'm going to church. Uh, you guys must make sure you are on time. And I'm gone. <laughs> Why am I doing that? I'm saving myself and my family. Because the devil is, is, is sneaky. He can raise an issue that Sunday morning. Uklam sadi felare. Hey, enjoy it. Enkana utse ita ita nene. Ukla ira nene ndi silo so sefe. The school fees. How about that Sunday morning? Hey, Sunday morning school fees. How come I pay them sadi? Goro goro how goro how understand the remote to transfer a a a a kashebe mudim. O o o busy ka school. Saturday Sunday morning. Goro how about that? Refit la kwana na na the school fees. Goro ho ho bukit. So what you do is that you, you, you function far away. You love them. You kiss them from a distance. Hi, my kids. Bye. Yeah, see you later because, hey, I must protect something here. Hello? Now, if a pastor can do that, why are you not doing it? Because don't know you're saving in the house. Because you're going to come here. Utle utle ti di lo. Utle mo na utuiri di lo. Utuiri di di quarrels. Utuiri di disappointment. Utuiri. You know, unzo ba la lidi phone. Di phone zozo zozo. Switch off that phone. Because unzo ba la lidi WhatsApp is ring. Hey, you are owing. What are you owing? You realize you are owing something. Umoya utswa immediately. The spirit leaves at that very time. You are coming to the house of the Lord. You are busy. So you must guard your heart as a leader. Protect your heart as a leader. Because you are going to the house of the Lord. Because the devil can, can attack you. Can attack your mind. Can attack your thinking. You know, guard your heart. Come early. Don't have issues with people. Be on time. Be in the presence of the Lord. If you messed up, fitaka na kotora pela. Hmm, that's why we come early to pray. Yeah, you fix a deal. Or we run a secular shop. Yeah, eight to ten. It is sharp. It rapids. It is sharp. Yeah, Santa, there's no chance. But off it like one at service it like nine. No, no, off it like nine. Only praise and worship team member. Off it like a pulpit. Hello. Utla utweri. Utweri traffic. Utsweri anxiety ya traffic. Uta kadi kame mea mayadi anxiety. Anxiety spirits, panic spirits, worry spirits. Lidi sign language spirits because the lemo na hantar kana. Kuna lidi sign language because kati lendo kana kati. Kuna lendo tuzuri di bua. Hallelujah. Maybe Botswana, you don't have road rage, but in other nations, there's road rage. People come out and they give you interesting sign languages, which I, I'm not prepared to show now because they are bad sign languages. Marigiri sign language. How fit like a game? lady, who fit out lady sign language? This person just chipped in in front of me. Kanti is the same member of the church going to the same place. Because you are men, you don't know each other. Now you are fighting. I don't know. How can you do that? They are actually in the same venue. And when you get there, you're parking next to each other. <coughs> oh, sorry, my brother. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's your brother. Yeah, because no one realizes. Mutuana no shapa san lazy le na na. Oh, God, oh, 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 oh,
you are going to the same place. And then le paka the same har le kopa na Hey, my brother, how are you? I'm so sorry, man. Hey, man, I don't know man. I'm so sorry. You guard your heart. Everybody say, guard your heart. As a leader, you must guard your heart. You guard your heart even, a, you know, you guard your heart, you guard your heart. So the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, uh, 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 it says here, um, where was I? I think I was here. To the, to the, to the elders among you, I appeal as you as also chief. Be a shepherd of God's flock under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing. Everybody say, willing. The moment you feel that you are no longer willing that day, you must know something is wrong. Yes. Because there are times you feel like, I give willing. The Bible says, be willing. Always do something with a willing heart. How we could draw, how we could draw, hey, honali and unwilling heart. You must know, you need to talk to God. You, you either need physical rest or physical prayer. Hello? Yes. Willing heart. As God wants you to be not pursuing dishonest gain. What is dishonest gain? It's easy when you are a leader to pursue dishonest gain. I've had leaders who've taken advantage of my people. And I'm saying my people because they're not mine, but you know how, that's how we talk. I've had leaders because I've been through. That's why I always say, you know, I, I'm happy here. God, denomination thing. I don't think you'd have this problem. In the ministries. Hey, hey, hey. the ministries? I'm a man of God. Are you a man of God? Praise God. I, I am uh, Archbishop. Uh, you know, uh, that can do. And I came from this place. And I just, I just felt God is leading me to your house. Hallelujah. And uh, I'm going to be worshiping with you. Hallelujah. Uh, but I've got a prophecy for you. Hallelujah. Really? So now the prophecy. And I've got a prophecy for the house. I just feel the Lord is sending me to your house. Hallelujah. Uh, if, you, if you have time. Hallelujah. For me to minister to your house. Really? I don't even know you from a bowl of soup. Now you've got a prophecy. You've got a prophecy for me and the church. I always say to pastors, there is no post. I don't recognize your pastorship here. No, I know. Maybe you guys work differently. Where I work, I tell people, we love you. There are people who announce that they are pastors from the door. I'm a pastor. Yeah, it's amazing, you know, because they want a certain chair. Yeah, I'm a pastor. Tell the, tell the man of God I'm here. Where? Here. So you want the man of God to come from his office and come and welcome you with the God of honor. What are you saying? Just if you're a, if you're a pastor, welcome, Ruti. Please sit. Where's your seat there? Yeah. Where, where everybody's sitting? There's no special seats. Why? Because they sit someone of Ladinku. Because everybody sits. There are no posts. Yes. We must protect because the Bible says not for not for filthy lack, not for dishonest gain. Because some of the people use those positions to gain dishonestly. So now I recognize you. Uh, we are we are visited by a man of God, Palm, a man of God, Apa, a man of God. You know, with a big ring and a Dracula cross or whatever they have. And then now, and then I give you a small chance to come and say something. Ha! I regret. Because while you take offering, you are prophesying, uh, you call people by name, there's somebody there, you've got a broken uh, skeleton, <laughs> but you are still standing. Um, and all that. I mean, you start saying stuff, and you start saying stuff, and you start saying stuff, and help saying stuff, and you start saying stuff, and you start saying stuff, and you start saying stuff, and you but if you are a bold man of God, you just stand there and say, thank you, my brother. It's okay. I know this one will do it. Says, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We just say, cut the mic. Cut, cut the mic. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, my brother. You can sit down. Amen. We love you. Thank you, man of God. Be seated. Yeah. Yeah, no, we have to. We help you. We are helping you. We are helping you. And we are protecting the sheep. Yes. So it's important that we don't do these things for dishonest gain. Amen. But always be eager to serve. Everybody say servant leadership. So we must be a servant leader, not lording it over God's people 
that have been entrusted to you. Hey, it's very important, that verse. Not lording it. Be a servant leader. What's a servant leader? It's a leader who serves by example, who leads by example. Eh? I've seen leaders say, let's give. Honest sip. As a leader, you must say, let's give. Here's my first word, 10,000. 10,000. What's the power of the world? Because I'm not going to die 10,000 and more. I'm not going so you are you are stirring them up. You are doing very well. They are going to give. But if you stand and say, yeah, we are giving. Because he has never taken out any cent. Give, lead by example. In every department. So when in your department you want your leaders to come on time. Women's ministry or whatever it is, leaders are meeting. We are meeting at 3 p.m. Please be there when now by quarter to three. Oscar Robatu, if it's at 3 p.m., you are dragging your feet. You are a leader. You come in half past three. How fit like half past three? If you do do that, you should have sent a message ahead of time and told a particular leader, I am running late. It's called accountability. I need another hour. It's called accountability. It's very unusual. Accountability, that one is going to take us another hour. It's called what? You are accountable. It's not control. But accountability is control. But our control. No, I control. If you have called us and you are not here on time, or I've called you and you have not come, send me a text. Pastor, I'm running late. I'm running late. My leader, I'm running late. Say, I'm running late. But I'm going to be there. But I'm running late. It's called integrity. It's called what? Yes. Yes. What is integrity? To, to say what you said you will say, do what you said you will do, at a time when you said you will do it, and how you said you will do it. That's John Maxwell. It's not my job. To say and to do what you said you will do, how you said you will do it, that in a way and in the time. When you said, I'm coming tomorrow and I'm going to come with my two kids and my husband. Yeah. And I'm going to arrive at 10. So, you have points there. You are coming tomorrow. Husband kids 10 i've got four points that's why you must not say too many things because not 24 so there you are you are coming number one you come at 11 so point number one is wrong you said 10 11 you lack integrity you are coming alone you said you're going to come with kids and husband two you lack integrity hello yeah so you must not use many words you must say i'm coming I will let you know. Never commit to things when you know you don't keep time. Or when you know that. Or always have a, a what do they call this? A leverage. Ring. If all goes according to plan. That's why I read God willing. Hello? God willing. I'll be there such and such. That. God willing. Why? You are, you are preparing minds and hearts of people so that you don't appear as somebody who lacks what? Integrity. Accountability is very important. So you must lead by example. You must serve by example. You must honor. I want to come to this thing of honor. You must serve by example. Don't lord it over God's people that have been entrusted in your care, but be an example to the flock. Amen. And when the chief shepherd appears, um, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade. In the same way you are, you, uh, you are you who are younger, submit yourself to the elders, all of you, clothe yourselves with, with humility towards one another. Okay? For God opposes the proud. So when you lead by example, people can follow. Remember, Maxwell says leadership is influence. So you must lead by example. People must see this is how leadership functions. Interesting thing about the church culture is this. If you set a culture of lateness, everybody becomes late. You know? I know there are leaders who, 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 who arrive, and I'm talking here from junior leaders to senior leaders. It's important to understand that when your pastor expects you to be at church by eight because you are a leader, lead by example, be there by eight. No, I don't know. But make sure you are there by eight. 
You understand what I'm saying? I mean, on Sunday morning, if you, if you are a serious leader, you know Sunday morning is hectic. Sunday, you, you, my wife wakes up at 6 to cook. You know, quarter to 6. Oh, pots are already... She's just, just trying to cook and whatever. Because 9 o'clock are at home. Amen? And then we must wake the kids up. So, Because some people cook before they go. Some people cook afterwards. Whichever way you do it. But you must plan it. Some people don't cook on Sunday. We eat out because it just gets too hectic. Whichever way it works. But don't make food excuse. Don't make... Don't, don't make poor kids. Don't use kids as, as, as example for your issues. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hey, what's up? What's up? Mahalajo, what's up? 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 Make a plan. Don't, don't make excuses. As a leader, you must always bring solutions. Don't bring problems. There are leaders who love to bring problems. They are very good analysis of the problem. They don't tell you the solution. Okay, thank you, my brother, for reporting. What do you think is the solution? You are bringing the problem. What do you think I must do with this problem you are now bringing? I don't like people giving me problems. I, you are a leader to help me solve problems. You are not a leader to, to identify problems. I know them. They are there. Solve them. So, so I always return the question. I say, oh, it's wonderful you observe this problem. What do you think is the solution? Just to let her know that I say again, sorry for some acknowledge you did not mean it. Oh, okay. You think that will work? Okay, fine. Please make an appointment. Please make an appointment. I would like to see her. And then we will solve the problem. Because what's the story? Do you understand? Then you go and go. Muruti. No, no, no. For what? No, I can't turn around. I can't turn around. I can't turn around. I can't I'm sure complicated. You thought this person needed help. You thought the pastor must descend from the high mountain and come and apologize. This person says, How dare you bring the pastor here to my house? No. Now the person is angry with you. Now you carry yourself, you go back to the pastor. Hey, Muru, I think I caused the problem. Because <laughs> I go reporting. So now Muruti must come as a reconciler. So what Muruti does is, okay, please organize Muruti so and so, one of my pastors. Well, reconcile. Little Muna Huna Sele Shap. Hello? Very important as a leader to guard your heart, to protect yourself, to, to lead by example. Amen? And to be an example to the flock and to bring solutions. Please don't bring problems. Bring solutions. It's like they keep, you know, it's like the, the instrument guys. I don't know here, but in my church, things break every time. What am I going, what is the solution? Now, the pro solution is very easy. Pro protocol. If there's a code that's messed up, Go and find a quotation or a what? How much is that court? Bring to the to the eldership or the church board a quotation. Let's go to the And I always say to guys, now I'll say yes. I'm your pastor. There's a problem. Okay, let's solve it. Yeah. How about you about Murdu is a No, I didn't say air. I said air as your pastor. I didn't say air as a as a member of the church board. You still need a church board to say yes. <laughs> I tell them all the time, you must understand the protocols of the church. If you, if you discuss with me something, they say, something I say, no, yeah, let's fix that. You don't go to the, to the decision makers and say, uh, we, 
Yeah, Murdu said, you don't come say Murdu, you say yes. No, I, I said yes from a, I was counseling you from a pastoral perspective. I see you, you are burdened with this problem. I say, my brother, we will pray. Murdu uh, said, we need a new keyboard. Really? Okay, okay, fine. Okay, just tell us. Wow, okay, you, you, you know almost the protocol. Yeah, we need a new keyboard. Just because he said, okay, or yeah. How can you let or the pastor said it's okay, we can buy the keyboard, so we want... Don't say such things. I didn't say it's okay. I said, fine, I hear you. We, we, we will solve. I was relieving your, your heart attack by this anxiety attack. We need a keyboard. But there is a proper forum where decisions are made. Hello? So understand the protocols. Lead by example. I'm, I'm almost concluding. And the last one says... 1 Timothy 5 verse 17, the elders who direct the affairs of the church well are worthy of double honor, especially those who work in preaching and teaching. Hebrews 3, 13 verse 17, have confidence in your leaders, submit to, you, to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account to God for you. To this do this, uh, uh, do this so that their work will be a joy, not a burden. For that would be of no benefit to you. As I wrap up, two things. We must give honor where honor is due. We must learn to honor people. Amen? Honor the leaders. Honor other leaders. Be honorable. Be honored. Honor others. You know the culture of honor is contagious. When we honor people, they honor us. You know? So let's build a culture of honor appreciation love bible, bible says those who are doing well they're worthy of even double honor you know when when people work hard in the church let's honor them amen do the best to honor them and leaders who work members we must make it easy for leaders to function praise god because sometimes leaders they work under duress or hey yeah you know i know many offended pastors i know many offended. As they stand there, if they had a choice, they would not stand on the pulpit. They're offended. When they look at the church, they're offended. Because those ones are gossiping. Those ones are gossiping. Those ones have a problem with Those ones have a problem with the car Muruti is driving. These ones have a problem with Musadi Muruti. Hello? Yeah. I know congregations like that. So the man stands there. He sees all these groups. He's asking himself, Jesus, give me strength here. Because as I look at them there, I can almost see what they're talking about. As I look at these ones here, I can almost see what they're talking about. When he stands here, the man is burdened. He, he's, he's, he is heavy. Because the church has made it difficult. Let's make the work of our leaders easy. Amen? By protecting our leaders. You know there's a man, he has passed away early this year. 1st September. Oh, yeah. He was my chief guy. Chief, chief, chief guy. Eh? Uh, he was my chief guy. My main man. This man loved me more than he loved the vision. That's how you know loyalty. I always say to leaders, if you love this church more than you love me, it's a problem. Because which one comes first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> well, understand what I'm saying? So people love the vision. Really? Oh, kereke hai kereke he. Rebon. Hai kereke kereke. Le rata yona. I rateng. Hai kereke. Ha kereke i kereke he. Rebon. I kereke o fit laka. Do you understand what I am saying? Do you understand what I am saying? No, you can't. There's, there's a human being. There's, there's, there's warm bodies. There's a warm body. That's making things happen. We do not... We are not worshipping a person, but we recognize leadership. The leader who passed away, this guy who passed away, this guy, I would be the one who, have to who has to defend. 
I would say, hey, you know, I need this. The, the, the men would say, Mfundi said, all costs, you'll get it. Get it. No, 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 not that. I, no, 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 I'll, I'll shift things around. I'll talk to the leaders. I'll, the men will fight on my behalf for me to get the things I need. No, 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 no. This one, no, it can't work. I don't know, Mfundi, we want to give him. No, please, I don't need it. We want, no. Why? Because he loved me. He believed in me, not in the vision. Because vision is a guy. You know, it's amazing how people forget. Ne? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, hey, it's amazing. You know, I teach people. I teach them. I teach them. Apostolic, prophetic, what, what? And then after some time, they come and tell me what it is. And they use the teachings I've given them to tell me, or now God has spoken to them for them to become what, what? Somewhere else. I feel the Lord is calling me to do where this calling. Where did it come from? Was it not created by the atmosphere that is in this house? Where you started to hear God talking to you. So why don't you recognize? Because people now have giftings and they've got callings. Now they are going to, they are now in demand. They were nothing when you met them. Ouch. There were nobodies when you met them, if there's something like that. Good, they were just normal guys. And then they worked with you, then you groomed them, then you, they, then you coached them, then, and then the gift started shooting out. And then now they are known. Now they, 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 they are powerful. And they've got things happening when you have a conference running. Because they are powerful. Hallelujah. Then there's a problem now. Because this power, where do you get it? This revelation. Where do you get that? So we must differentiate between the vision and the visionary. Yes, we must love the institution. Don't get me wrong. We must love the institution, protect the institution, but we must protect more the visionary. What did they say to David? They say, you are worth 10,000 of us. Don't go to battle. Please sit. Because if you die, it's like 10,000 soldiers have died. So sometimes we don't protect our leaders. We must protect our leaders. Hello? We must protect our leaders. You know, men of God, don't do that. I will do it. Let me run around. Let me be the one. You rest. You, you rest. I will do it. All our leaders need protection. If we build a culture of honoring one another, protecting one another, serving one another, it's not just serving one person or two. It's a serving one another, protecting one another, loving one another. It, it becomes the culture of the house. Amen. And I always, you see, I don't know what is your father-son culture in this tradition of church. But where I am in the ministries and in our church, there's a father-son culture. So father's a spiritual father, spiritual son's culture. You know, you are a father and people are your sons and all that. Who's not the fathers? Who's not the fathers? Who's not the fathers? How about now? Spiritual. You understand what I say? Spiritual. Meaning, they are all my sons, spiritual. But among the sons, now there are fathers. There are those who are calling them uh, others. Father, oh, re we one, as I believe. Hello. Re we one, me we one. If we have other pastors and their wives, let's not be mistaken. Because in a growing vision, there'll always be more than one pastor. Again? But there's only one senior pastor and one senior mother of the house, as a belief. So, how is it going to Hey, what's that? I can't say that it's the appreciation service. The appreciation service is. Who are the others? Please, let's not compare things here. Dishonor. Get dishonor. Because, Baba Bang, who identified them? Who made them what they are? Because there's a problem. Okay, let's move it away from the, from the institutional. Let's bring it to the family so that we understand. In the family, how many fathers are in the house? As a belief. One father. The rest of the people are what? Children. Sons and daughters. Now, here, the last born, it's a debate on honor of the It's a debate on honor of the people. Just because I left you with your, your, your elder brother to look after you when I was busy. 
you will now think he's your father. <laughs> Hello. Is it, does it make sense? No, you cannot. Let's not confuse matters. Eh? First born, it's like, it's a little bit of a lie. Ah, first, I was alone, I'm a whole. I'm alone, I'm okay. Can I have paper, I'm going to answer. Eh, I'm not paper because I'm going to be a sin. I'm going to be a paper, I'm going to go. I can't tell you, I'm going to be the first born, I'm going to be a sin. Yes, especially when the family is big. First born, I'm going to be a paper. Oh, poor first born. I'm going to be a little bit. That firstborn cannot say to this one, you are my mother, my mother, wow, okay. So let, let there be no confusion whatsoever. Amen. Give honor where honor is due. Let there be no confusion. Am I saying let's not appreciate other people? No, let's appreciate them. The day of our father, like their days. That's one guy. Let them have their own days. This one is mine. We must know who's the father here. The back stops where? What does the back stop? Yes, with the head. So why are we? Why are the shoulders, arms, and what other other parts of the body now that are equal to the head? What's going on here? So let's give honor where honor is due. I, and 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 I know that the culture of honor sometimes can be sensitive because it's uh, you see nugget like boo because your pastor won't say it. That's why I'm here, and that's why he's gonna go there. Because there are things we can't say in our own houses. No, it's true. No, we must, we must help her now. We must sort each other out here because we are men of God. This man understands what I'm saying. There are things in his house he can't say on his own because it, it, it looks awkward. It's like why you are battling. But somebody must come and teach the principles because these are principles. They are not new things. They are what? Principles. So give honor where honor is. Jew, and honor is to one man. He's your father. There's one father, there's one mother. Not two. One. And when we do it, we do it well. We do it well. It's it's under duress. You are confused. God is not confused. Give honor where honor is due. Amen. And do it to the best. So that, you know what does honor do, do? It comes back to you as a harvest. God brings it back to you. It's for your own good. People who don't appreciate what they have, they lose it. And the day they lose it, they realize, oh, that was such a treasure we had. Sorry, too little, too late. So we must appreciate while it's still there. While it's still hot. Amen.